In this video, I'm going to give you 10 tips um, to make designing with Bubble a lot easier, faster, and ultimately make your app's design better. When starting out with Bubble, the design interface can be hard to get to grips with. Compared to other no-code tools like Webflow, um, the design is less intuitive. But because of the power of the back end and um, the workflows and the database, it's still an amazing tool to use. Luckily for us, there are some tips and tricks we can do um, that make designing with Bubble a lot easier. Tip number one, um, create design sketches and wireframes first. As Bubble is easy to use, people tend to skip this step. But creating design sketches and wireframes will help you understand the structure and design of your app. Then, when it comes to designing the app on Bubble, you, hear, you have a clear idea of what you need to do. So step two, set up the design styles. You want your app's design to be consistent throughout. And the best way to do that is to set up the, a standard style for all the different elements from the buttons to the fonts to the groups. Um, and you can edit it all in one place. Um, you can edit it in the style section or you can edit it within the editor itself and you can view the style here um, you can remove that style edit it like so and then create a new style so a bonus tip is that when you need to design your design to be slightly different, but you don't want to create a whole new style, you can add a condition called um, this URL is not empty, and then make the change here. So because the URL is never not empty, this change will always be in place. Number three, Optimize your editor settings. Um, so have a play about with the editor and set it up how you would prefer. Um, here you can edit the zoom um, if you're working on a mobile app or a wider screen. Um, you can add a grid, which is really handy if you if you want everything to be aligned. Um, you can set it up so an element will snap to the edges of the grid. Um, there's an X-ray mode for when you have stuff laid on top of each other. Um, so it's all about just playing about with it to optimize it for you. So tip number four, layer and collapse groups. Using Bubble, there will be lots of times um, when you want to show and hide groups that are in the same place. Um, putting these groups on top of each other makes them hard to edit and makes the app more confusing, especially when you have a lot of them. So what I recommend is layering these groups and then setting them to collapse the height when hidden. So now the, the two pages I just showed you will look exactly the same, but in the editor, you can. it is a lot easier to edit this one. Um, this will make it faster and easier to edit elements in, in your app. So tip number five, label elements and groups correctly. So as your app gets larger um, and more complicated, um, keeping your app organized and naming everything clearly will help you find elements faster. Um, so your elements tree will be clearer here. Um, 
and also it'll be easier to find some stuff in the search box at the top. So tip number six, get used to the responsive editor. Um, having a responsive design is not just about making it mobile friendly. Your app can be used on any device, all with different screen sizes. Um, so the responsive editor is really good, a really good way to check the design um, of your app and get it all set up properly. Um, you can change the alignment, uh, hide, hide groups at certain widths, um, so they only show on mobile. Um, you can change the width and much more. So I just recommend having a play about with it and getting used to it so that your app is responsive and can be used on all screens. So tip number seven, copy and paste groups with similar responsive settings. So once you have a group, group set up um, to be responsive, um, it's easier to copy and paste that group with that set with those settings and um, then creating a new group and starting from scratch. Um, this works well for other elements like buttons and text um, and just saves you having to do the responsiveness more than once. Tip number eight, use reusable elements. Um, reusable elements prevent you from having to do a design more than once. Um, they're kept in this separate section um, where you can edit them, um, do your design, and it helps keep your design consistent throughout the whole app. Um, use reusable elements for groups, um, pop-ups, or any sections that you know you're gonna be using multiple times. So tip number nine, find a plugin. Um, Bubble has all the elements you need to get started, but the plugins add so much more. Um, so whenever I can't find a way to do something, I usually find that someone else has had a similar problem and they've solved it using a plugin. From they, The plugins have everything from adding extra icons to adding um, calendar elements or alert elements um, or new types of drop downs. It has everything you need and a lot of them are really really good so tip number 10 use a template so there are so many great templates and um, for bubble with great design search through them to find a design um, that you like and then use it in your app uh, templates are great as generally um, the design is really good but also the responsiveness has been done as well Sometimes I, I'll use a template or sometimes I will um, just use a page from a template. Um, if you do use a template, I recommend taking some time to understand exactly how it works first um, before changing it for what you need. So the team at Bubble are currently creating a new editor, which I'm really excited to see. For now, these tips will help you design easier, better and faster using the current editor. I'd love to hear if you have any design tips, so leave me a message in the comments. Um, this, vid this video covers um, tips um, for designing with the Bubble Editor, but there are still a lot of different aspects to create an, a great user interface or user experience. I'd recommend putting some time into learning about design principles or design thinking as it will massively improve your Bubble app. Um, I've added some of my favorite resources in the bio. Um, I've hope you've I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you.